sadly, around the world, businesses are having to make some tough decisions and make people redundant in order for the business to pivot and survive. That may also have meant recruiting new senior talent with fresh skills to move the business forward. Now, such new people, by their very nature, want to make a fast impression. And this could upset remaining team members who are loyal to the existing business culture of the company and worried about further change. So the CEO has a dilemma, how to rally remainers and do it effectively whilst unleashing the potential of the new talent. What's the solution? Well, who better to ask than to go and visit in, in Washington today and visit global recruitment and leadership expert, the CEO of the McGarren Group, George McGarren. Hello, George. Malcolm, it's good to be here again. I um, always appreciate to talk to you. The, uh, so today I'm in Washington, but usually I'm in, in New York, but this uh, for the week I'm in, in, in uh, Washington, D.C. So Yeah, you, you popped down for tea with President Trump. Um, <laughs> George, you heard in my opening piece my scenario, which is starting to become common even here in the U.K. Parliament. Right. Where do you think the core thinking of the CEO should lie? Well, I think, I mean, you talk about a, a, a difficult topic, change, right? And uh, some, some people are just not open to change. Uh, but I think the CEO, let's say that, you know, with, with, the, with the remote environment that we're in now and, 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 uh, and companies cutting, uh, just sometimes it's for pure existence. Sometimes it's because they, they, they've taken the time now to think about a better business model. Uh, I think anyone new they hire, uh, you know, as a CEO, I would, I, I would highly recommend them to talk to their existing team members and just let them know that, like, you know, I think at the end of the day, the end mission, right, or the end game, as long as everyone knows sort of what the end mission is or the end game, I think you'll have less, uh, uh, less upheaval, right, in, 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 in the, uh, you know, at least, you know, folks getting a little antsy about moving on to their next opportunity. So I think new, new management is always difficult, right? But most, and you've seen this over as well, but most good leaders, they walk into an environment, they kind of figure out and assess for you know three months, six months, and then they start to move some of the pieces, right? Um, but but the as long as I think everyone else in the team, the existing team knows what the actual end game is, and what's what's the object, you know, what's the objective to 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 you know for for hiring this new person or new or three or four new people. Uh, I think you could probably appease, you know, some of the some of the uh, the naysayers. Mm. Uh, in this time where you know CEOs are having to make these changes, uh, are they likely to learn need to learn new skills of say diplomacy, or is it a question of being blunt about what the business needs to do? End of. Right. Well, I think I think that the second approach. I don't know if that works well. You know, for for some people can take that. Most but most people are not. Uh, uh, you know, they, 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 uh, they're not as open to that kind of criticism. Right. But, uh, I would, I would, I would say the difference now is that, you know, leader, the face to face is now, I mean, right now it's a zoom thing. Right. And th there's, there are a lot of great leaders that have that component to them, right. Themselves, how they deal with people. And I think that's the, that will be the major, uh, problem that they're going to have. They, they need to learn how to communicate via video. Right communicate, uh, most of them have pretty, pretty decent uh, telephone skills and communication skills, but via video and how to use that skill set of being a person to person, people to people, uh, you know, sort of right next to you mentality. And how, they're going to learn how to do that via video now, right? Uh, and that's, a, that's an interesting skill set. I think that we're all learning, right? We're all learning this new, uh, you know, this, this new skill set on how to, how to really communicate effectively via video. Yeah, and in the last uh, two, three months, I've interviewed 70 to over 70 CEOs around the world uh, via Zoom here, and all of them, bar maybe two or three, um, not including you, of course, have been very nervous. Yeah, And right. unsure about the whole thing because they couldn't actually see into your eyes. I right. Think. They're used to seeing into somebody's eyes. And yeah. Okay. I also said in my starting piece that remainers will cling on to old business culture, which may not be appropriate in the new normal. So how does a good CEO change culture and rally all the partners behind it? 
Right. So I think there, and this is, this goes back to some basics, right? The why, the when, you know, the who, the where, uh, you know, you need to start answering those questions at sort of a very macro level. And, and I think once you can feed that to some of your senior management and let make sure that they're also driving that at lower levels, I think everyone can get on the same page. But you're 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 100 correct in terms, you know, when you talk about we're we're in a different a different it's just a, we're in a different business environment now that we've ever been in. Uh, you've got you know we one of our clients is a is a, is a I won't mention the the. Uh, the company, but you've eaten, you know, you've, you've cheated once in a while and eat their, their candy bars before, but uh, you know, they're, they're, they're looking at the 80, 80, 20 rule, right. From a, from things that things that sell well, we're going to keep that on things that don't sell well. We're just, we're just going to remove it from the product line. Uh, and that that will impact, impact a lot of people from a manufacturing standpoint. Right. But the, and, and, you know, you need to make sure that everybody, the whole organization is, is on board or at least understands the reason behind some of the it might it might to some to one person it might seem like chaos to the next person it might seem extremely logical right mm. uh you know it, it's um uh, there's an interesting uh i don't know if you're a fan of sort of history of quotes but if you look back to some of the quotes that people had made 100 years ago 200 years ago when they started getting like 100 you know they're talking about i saw a quote as they were talking about um about automobiles you know cars have you seen that horse there was, a, there was a quote about the horses about how i mean there's so many quotes about you know cars and 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 and, and horses and, and electricity and uh and uh you know the computer and the, and the telephone uh but i you know i think people have to realize what, what, what's the what is the why and how are we going to get there and uh and that's that's a organizationally you have to make sure people are on the same track yeah, I think that um, CEOs are having to learn to be good communicators now right. because many of them have been very technical on financial. How does a CEO position it so that new talent becomes part of the team quickly and effectively? Or otherwise, I could see conflict continuing. Right. Well, I think, I think, I think the first piece is I think that starts actually during the interview process, right? You know, why, why are we trying to bring somebody new on board uh, what three or four main problems are we trying to solve? Uh, here's sort of here's sort of the expectations of what we need to get done. Um, here's sort of the makeup of the team, right? Personality wise, uh, here here are some things that you're probably going to do really well at. Here's thing. Here are some things that you might struggle with. Uh, I think, and I think all of that can be you can assess that during the interview process a lot of the times. And uh, I think the right future leader. Well, or the future, you know, let's say you're a candidate, if they're honest about if it's a right fit, the right fit or not, the smart ones will just either, they'll, they'll declare that it's a fit. And, and if it's not a fit, they'll declare that it won't be a fit. And uh, you, you need to have symbiotic relationships, right? I don't know if you've seen this with organizations, the, the candidates need to, you know, they almost need, the candidate almost needs to work for that organization and the organization needs to hire that person, right? When you have that symbiotic relationship, I mean, there's magic happens. Uh, but I think all of that starts during the interview process with a clear explanation uh, of what is trying to get done. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want us to feel that during this pandemic, everything is doom and gloom because I've been interviewing some companies which are on great uh, acceleration paths. But a CEO says to the McGarren Group, I need change and I need it fast. Where would you start? So that's a that's a great question. Um, it's it's two thirty here, right? Thursday, so it's two thirty p.m. In the Eastern Standard Time right now. In an hour, um, I actually have a call with a COO of a company to talk about that exact topic, right? Because we're we're running a, a search for a couple searches for them as we speak, and and I'm going to start the call with uh, what what are the three you know in a perfect world environment? What are the three things? You know, if you could say, you know, it's this is the perfect environment. What are the three exact things you're trying to accomplish, right? And the second question is, are you financially, are you financially and emotionally willing to invest in that to make that change? And those that's 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 the exact that's the exact those are the exact two questions I'll be saying. I'll literally be asking in an hour with a, with a major client of ours. They do, uh, you know, it's a it's a major uh, biotech company, right? So and they have the same problem. They've got you know they have a team that I think, you know, they're just not, they're sort of stuck in 2010 and 
uh, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, the revenues are in the billions and they're just the, the writing is on the wall and they need to revamp and get it just a new, uh, you know, it's, it's almost like you go out and you buy yourself, you know, a couple of new suits, right. And, uh, get a new haircut and, uh, but we're going to have that conversation in about an hour. The exact same question. Okay. George, I'll have to come back to visit you to see how that conversation went. Thank you. But thank you very much indeed for the interview today. Thank you. Malcolm, thank you again. Appreciate it.